one of the major medicinal plants that's out there is in fact mushrooms. They have the health benefits are almost unmatched. And what kind of tree is this? Um, we cut down an oak tree. Oak is good for most types of funguses, though different ones may prefer particular woods. Um, in our case, we have shiitake, maitake, chicken of the woods, and uh, reishi mushrooms, of which are completely compatible with oak. The only thing to avoid would be um, conifer trees, specifically aromatic conifers. So what we did is we bought mushroom plugs which are little inoculated dowels of wood and they contain the hyphae of the species of fungi that we want which are ones that are specifically edible and we receive those in the mail already inoculated in bags and what we do is it also comes with a special little drill bit so you need a drill you put that special drill bit on and what it does is it bores out a hole perfectly plug sized now you space those plugs kind of on a matrix throughout the whole log. What we did here was roughly four to five to six inches and sometimes, and um, in a staggered sort of formation. What that does is it thoroughly disperses the fungus throughout the log so that you have a very high chance of complete inoculation. And then you have to bury these, right? Not bury. There's different ways you can do it. Burying it would definitely work and probably be very fruitful. But what we're gonna do is probably dig about a foot deep or maybe a little bit more and just stick them in upright and that way we're hoping because it's the uh, moisture that they get that initiates the fruiting and so we're going to put them in the autumn when hopefully they're fully inoculated and then put them in the ground and they will be able to absorb the moisture and um, we're hoping to by doing that get more um, possible area for mushroom growth so hopefully a larger yield. So as far as a easy quick, excellent food source, fungiculture is the way to go.